Hey guys, I know it's been a while. I swear I was trying to be consistent, but we all falter sometimes. I can't believe the time has already come. Like, sorry, how is it my six month post-op update already? Six months post-op. It literally feels like I got my nose job yesterday, which is so weird because at the same time, it feels like it's been a lifetime. My nose job looks have been popping off a little bit lately. I have a lot of new subscribers from my nose job. I can tell because I've been getting so many DMs on Instagram, so many nose job questions. And that's why I've actually included a little Q&A at the end of this video. And then hopefully we can get some of your questions questions answered. If you haven't watched my nose job vlogs yet, you have to watch them. I'm gonna link them here somewhere for you guys. They're both highly entertaining and informative. Okay, let's just get straight into the video. It feels so crazy to say, but I had my rhinoplasty six months ago on the 4th of February. Honestly, I love my nose. A lot of things have actually changed, so I'm really excited to get into this update. First and foremost, my sleeping is back to normal. Thank God I can finally sleep. I can sleep on my side, I can sleep on my face if I want to. It's just pure bliss. I feel like I gained a newfound appreciation for sleeping. I don't feel harming my nose in my sleep anymore i literally just sleep how i want to so yeah don't be worried your sleeping will get back to normal and onto something else that feels a little bit more normal i don't tape my nose anymore and i haven't for like four months which is honestly just so it feels so good <laughs> no more having to remember to tape my nose every night i'm so glad that got taken out my routine it was just the addition i did not need in my life two months was the period of time that was recommended by my surgeon for taping i haven't really had an issue with not taping since i think it is partly down to the fact that my swelling has reduced by so much my swelling isn't so volatile anymore by volatile i mean like changing so much throughout the day like some days my nose might be a bit more swollen than usual but it doesn't change as much throughout the day as it used to so yeah i don't really feel like taping would make a difference and i just don't crave it it's so weird but i used to feel like i had to tape my nose especially before events because i felt like if i didn't tape my nose my nose would be so disgustingly swollen so i just feel like freed of feeling like i have to tape my nose for my nose to look snatched does that make sense my breathing a very big point that i have to talk on i do feel like with time i've realized that a lot of my breathing issues were probably down to just allergies or the fact that my nose was still swollen and healing so basically what my surgeon said so how did i realize this once i had my surgery the post-op team gave me a nasal spray it basically helps your nose with decongestion and i actually stopped using it after the first month so when i picked it up again and i used it wow my nasal passages were like the air literally felt like it was going to my brain and i was breathing in literally 4k like a full high definition and that's when i was like oh okay okay it's not because my breathing is ruined forever some days it's super clear and i'm breathing incredibly and some days they just feel very tight and congested even though there's nothing really inside them i know all my breathing issues will be resolved with time and i'm not concerned about them anymore which i am very thankful for because it was a very scary thing for me oh and also so in my truth about my nose job video, I did mention that I had nose spasm. I just wanted to let you guys know that that actually never occurred again. Cleaning my nose is still the worst thing in the world. I'm so sorry to tell you. I'm still bound by my cotton buds. You have no idea how many packs of this I go through. But something really exciting, guys. I can finally fit my fingers in my nostrils. My nostrils have relaxed so much. They were so tight before. I literally couldn't fit anything other than a cotton bud inside them. So yeah, I can finally get a little bit up in there, which I really missed. I have to be honest. I really missed it so i did mention it in my previous nose job video that i do have an issue with my nose that is a bump that is forming here i'm gonna insert clips of what that looks like now trust me i know it's not that visible but actually around a week ago i had a video consultation with my surgeon he told me that the bump is probably bone that has grown honestly it just goes to show that the healing process differs from person to person unexpected things can happen and you can't always control things so obviously my bones have healed in a way that the bump has formed a little bit on this side of my nose fortunately he did tell me me that it's a very minor issue and it could be fixed very easily he said that it would be a 15 minute appointment in the clinic no need to be in a hospital setting and he would essentially just shave that bit down my main concern was that i didn't want to have to go through that healing process again but he reassured me that it would literally be a few days maybe a week of bruising he's going to leave everything else the tip everything he wouldn't be making incisions on my nose again essentially it would be a close revision so yeah i mean that's good news it's not that much of an issue for me and actually the more time that i've spent looking at it and trying to like take pictures to show people the more that i've realized that it really isn't that visible in a way i don't feel like it's worth going through all that trouble if anything you guys told me that the bump adds a little bit of a natural touch to it and just makes it look a little bit more just like unique and me which i kind of think is cute <laughs> let's wrap up this portion of the video last time i spoke about identity crisis and how hard it was getting used to my new face now six months post-op i can say with full confidence that this was the best decision that i ever made i love my new nose i love how i look i feel so confident the swelling has gone down so much in my nose i swear i 
love my nose more and more each day and honestly I would do it all again if I needed to moving on to the Q&A portion of this video you guys have asked lots and lots of questions so let's answer them is your nose still uncomfortable yes my nose is far from healed I'm only halfway through the healing journey my nose is still very sensitive I can't put a lot of pressure on it I do get irritation inside sometimes if I'm going in too much with a cotton bud my tip is still numb yeah it's not it's just not all there yet still a long way to go how painful was it on a scale of one to ten honestly the pain in my nose was like a four more than anything it was just uncomfortable you have these silicone tubes in your nose blocked up and all of this there's a lot of pressure it's not really painful so much as just uncomfortable i would say the most painful bit was the night of my surgery when the painkillers had worn off and my back was killing me but nothing really directly linked to my nose so yeah don't be worried it's not that painful when did your stitches dissolve so i did have stitches here here and here I'd say my stitches dissolved around one and a half months post-op some of them were quite stubborn a lot of them dropped off around three weeks to one month i would recommend not picking at them just keep them hydrated because they'll dissolve quicker the more hydrated they are the quicker they'll dissolve my scars kind of healed along with my stitches dissolving i do still have redness in these areas you can't really see it because i do have makeup on but that's just something to be aware of you will have redness around these areas and you can get scarring which you can't really avoid this is what i mean by a rhinoplasty may be unpredictable you can do your best to try prevent things and try help things but you can't be in control of everything i got a lot of questions about price as you guys know i did collaborate with Clinica. I do have a discount code for you guys to use as well. I will pop it on the screen. And again, just to let you guys know, I make absolutely no money from this discount code. This is just for you guys to use. Because I did collaborate with them, it wouldn't make sense for me to tell you guys how much I paid because it wouldn't be relevant for you guys. I was quoted something around 3.5k. Prices will always vary and they will go up and down with demand. I know that Clinica and my doctor, they're very in demand. So if you want to get something booked, just get it booked. Don't keep thinking about it because there is a very long wait list. Does your nose still hurt when you do certain facial experiences? Expression. I can actually do a majority of my facial expressions now. I can really smile. I can like mm, mm. A big one that I wasn't able to do was this I can finally like get into my mustache hairs and like thread them out properly But this was so tight like the most tight region was my upper lip region But yeah, it's nice to finally have movement back in my face and just be able to emote a little bit You know big one that I keep getting is how long was your face swollen for when I say the face swelling was mad I did not expect it. I was like, okay, my nose is gonna be swollen, but no the whole of you is swollen It's crazy. My facial swelling went down around I'd say three months post-op it does go down so gradually that you won't notice it but i think majority of it is down there's probably still a little bit of swelling don't obsess over how you look too much because i promise you it will change so much did you have any acrylics or nail polish on at surgery no i removed everything off of my nails and i think that's actually quite important I'm pretty sure they need to check your nails during surgery i would just do exactly what is advised by your surgeon they will send you a list of things that you need to do prior to surgery were you worried when your nose was piggy at first and when did it drop i wouldn't say i was worried because i had watched so many videos and everybody was like oh my god freaking out about their piggy nose six months later they were like i love my nose it dropped so much so i wasn't really worried i was just a bit like freaked out i actually might show you guys pictures of what i looked like immediately with my cast off i hated how i looked so much i wish i never took those pictures i quite literally looked like a pig but your nose will change so much please do not spend too much time worrying about your tip and how it looks piggy it will drop it dropped naturally around the two month mark one month to two months it was dropping it's still going to drop a little bit more just don't get in your head about it okay i promise you you will look so different from your cast reveal day i promise you what's something that you wish you knew before surgery or could have prepared for i actually feel like i prepared very well i did a video on this for you guys go check it out because i go through the kind of things you should take before surgery what to pack for surgery being post up now and having gone through that experience i think i over prepared and it's way better to be over prepared than under prepared how long did it take for you to feel like yourself again i touched more on the identity crisis in my truth about my nose job video it did take a while and it is a whole process you're not just healing physically you're also healing emotionally but with every day that passes you will feel more and more like this was just always your face and to end everything off no i have no regrets the public hate is still very apparent i do still get hate every single day about my nose job i'm very secure in how i look and how much i love my nose so it does not affect me for the amount of hate i get i get way more compliments if you guys have any questions comment it down below and i will get back to you but yeah this is officially six months post off i will see you guys maybe at one year who knows see ya Thank you.